I love languages, and languages have alphabets. My legal birth name is Language Simp, and I am very attractive to every woman and man on the planet. And today we're gonna take a look at some alphabets in our solar system and see what they have to offer. And at the end of the video, I will crown one alphabet as the official craziest alphabet in the universe. So let's start our journey back in the past and take a look at the first thing that comes to mind when I think of crazy writing systems, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. The ancient Egyptians who unfortunately are no longer with us used to create these elaborate writings on the wall that must have taken so much time to plan and complete. Can you imagine if you took someone who grew up with an iPad and TikTok and tried to get them to write this way, they'd explode. I always thought that the symbols were more like drawings that each denoted a certain object or thought, and that is often true, but I was looking into it and I guess it's also an alphabet that has a unique letter for each sound. Like this vulture here actually represents the A sound. Can you imagine having to sweat out a photorealistic image of a sky rat every time you wanted to write McDonald's? You've got three birds that represent five sounds, so how can you trust my literate ass to be able to draw these distinctly. Like sure, if you're an artist, I guess it works, but if you're a normal person like me who can't draw for shit, you'd be like, bro, is that a loaf or a water? So yeah, hieroglyphics are wild, but the history is in the past for a reason. Let's go to the current default writing system, the American alphabet. It looks clean, simple, and aside from the lowercase j, I kinda like it. But thanks to President Obama, many other languages around the world now use the American alphabet. Like the Germanic languages, for example. The vast majority of the German alphabet is just like ours, very normal pilled and based, but then they got these four goofy goobers that collectively make up one of the main reasons why I'd rather go to France any day than Germany. First of all, they pretend like these three are unique letters, which any rational person can see right through. Those dots are accent markers. You can't put accent markers on a letter and call it a new letter. That is an A with tennis balls on top of it, not a Eh, uh, I have no idea what sound that actually makes. And other Germanic alphabets have similar problems. The Swedes got two double dot letters as well as this A with an Oreo on top of it. Which is mind blowing because Sweden was released in 1523 while Oreos weren't dropped until 1912. But the West is boring, let's go out east to where the Slavic lingos live. The Cyrillic alphabet today lacks pizzazz and it honestly just looks like someone with my eye problem tried to copy the American alphabet but made a few mistakes. In the modern Russian Kyrillic alphabet, Bit, you've got the normal letters that stick to the American dream, like the classic A, K, and T. Then you've got the Houdini, Abracadabra, Alakazam letters that were designed to confuse Westerners. This makes the V sound, this makes the N sound, this makes the R sound, and this makes a noise that I can't remember to save my life. And finally, you've got the letters that look like Pokemons and also kinda sound like them. Like, come on, this looks like a Magikarp or at least some sort of fish. I want nothing more than for the Slavic languages to bring back the multi-ocular O which was actually used once in history. But nothing in the Slavic world scares me as much as the Serbian alphabet. What the heck is this thing and why does it look like someone could kill me with it? If you flip it upside down, it would be a good seat. Serbia is also guilty of creating these mutant letter hybrids that genuinely confuse me so bad even as a Slavic language enthusiast. Is this an H with a little lump on the side or is this an I with a B attached to it? And what on earth is the difference between these two letters? Fuck drawing birds, writing in Serbian would be even harder. Even harder than those marble statues that the Greeks are obsessed with. Wait, what are you doing? Why are you, the person watching this video, in the Greek alphabet? I didn't expect to see you here. You're right next to me. Awesome. Honestly, the Greek alphabet became boring ever since the math nerds took it over. Like, Lambda, Theta, and Pi would have been so cool, but getting an engineering degree kind of ruined those for me. Oh, that and fraternities. It's so goofy how they just pick three random Greek letters and name their dangerous cults after them. So I'm really only a fan of the Psi because it looks like a freaking trident, as well as whatever this is supposed to be. It's like a Big Mac with just the burger and the bun. But just as almost all of the world felt during the last century, I'm sick of Europe. So what's the deal with Asian alphabets? I bet they have extremely normal writing systems. What's the biggest and most interesting influential country in all of Asia. Say it with me. Sri Lanka, or as I like to call it, Among Us Island. And before you click off the video thinking I'm gonna say some immature shit about Among Us, please bear with me for a minute. These are the characters in the game Among Us, 
And these are letters in the Sinhalese alphabet used in Sri Lanka. But even the not among us letters look wild. Like some of them are reasonable, but what the heck are those? They're too wide, certified thick boys. Too thick for me, so let's teleport to the country of Palestine for a nice vacation. In Palestine and in just about every country with a desert in Africa and the Middle East, the Arabic language is spoken. This is by far the most difficult and most complicated alphabet to learn on the planet. Well, that's what I thought when I was a beta before I went and learned it very easily myself. When shown in alphabet form, you'll notice that a lot of the letters are the same, except for both the position and number of holes that appear above and below them. My favorite letters, which should come as no surprise to you, are ein, ka, and he. He. Come on, guys, for an American, I'm pronouncing the he a lot better than I used to. Judging on pure aesthetics alone, I would say that Arabic has the most beautiful alphabet, as when written together, the letters form a gorgeous flowing pattern of squiggly, elegant lines. And it's written backwards, which is extremely giga -chat. Speaking of writing backwards, there's also a lesser known language called Hebrew. But aside from this upgraded W looking thing and this slippery little snake, it doesn't really do much for me. If you want true Sigma slippery little snakes, you'll look no further than Thailand. Every letter in the Thai alphabet is a snake contorted into a new unnatural position. Some look nice and innocent, but this one looks like Satan incarnate. But holy crap, if Thai letters are little garden snakes, Cambodian letters are anacondas. Like, come on, that's gotta be the longest letter on the planet. It goes up and down and up and down and up and up. Albania will finish taking over the world before you're finished writing that shit. But not every letter in Asia is long and slender. In Myanmar, or Burma, they use circles as letters, which makes no sense to me because isn't it literally impossible for a human to properly draw a circle? Also, uh, that's a letter in Burmese. Similarly, there are a lot of circles in the Georgian alphabet used for the Georgian language spoken in Georgia, although most of the alphabet is just full of random things that I carry with me every day. They've got brass knuckles you could use to fight your way out of Atlanta, a ring that could go in your ear, a cashew, but my favorite one is probably this one which I call the letter 3. 2.0. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but the normalist letter in the Georgian alphabet is probably Squidward's fucking clarinet, which makes the clarinet sound. Calm down, calm down. I know that doesn't really look like a clarinet, but it looks like some sort of musical instrument that you blow into. I don't know it because I'm not a nerd. The Armenian alphabet is also pretty wild, and I don't even know where to start with this one. They've got a balloon, a dollar sign, a dude sticking his arm out, and a dude sitting down without a head. But maybe it's just the lesser known, more niche Asian languages that have wild alphabets. Let's Let's go look at the more mainstream Asian lingos. I prefer alphabets that spawned naturally, not ones that were created in a laboratory, so Korean writing kind of rubs me the wrong way. The alphabet, called Hangul, looks nice, but the way they combine symbols to form like little syllable chunks makes it too hard to read with my fucked up eyes. The letters themselves are cool though, I'm a huge fan of this stick and this box. Japanese has like one, two, skip a few, 99, I don't know, like three alphabets that I could never begin to understand without watching tons of anime, which I've never done, so let's just skip those. All right, who changed my shirt? I've never seen this girl in my life, this raccoon girl from that anime. I've never, I don't even know what that is. What are we talking about? So yeah, the Japanese alphabets are lit and they've got three of them. Two of them are normal and they suspiciously look a lot like what you would see on a menu in a sushi restaurant. They've got smiley faces, a box, and a line, which is all pretty good in the hood. But the third alphabet is just thousands of pictures that look like the thing that they denote. I mean guys, let's be honest, this bit never gets old. Like these two, I'm sure you've already guessed what those mean. That one is constipation and that's a flamingo. It should come as no surprise that China also does the same thing, blah blah, this means person, this means biang biang noodles, anyone with a second grade education can read Chinese in their sleep upside down underwater. But while researching for this video, I found something that truly will change my life forever. Something that changes the whole way I see the world. Apparently, people used to live in America before the United States of America, and these people have interesting alphabets too. But my favorite North American script is without question the Mi'kma hieroglyphs, also known as the Suckerfish script. Unfortunately, none of the letters resemble whatever a suckerfish is, but you've gotta admit that these exude a type of class and elegance that can normally only be found in France. But you know where humans spawned in the first place? Africa, and I'm happy to report that Africa is chock full of crazy alphabets. Like up in North Africa, there's a people group called the Berbers who have this crazy cool alphabet called Tifanach. I think I might head into the Sahara Desert with no water this summer to try to find some of these writings IRL. The water would hold me back. They've got a percent sign, an umbrella, an umbrella with a cornflake, a cross, a cross in a box, an American football NFL goalpost, a caterpillar, 
and a caterpillar wearing a belt. But if you head a little south, I think I may have found one of the craziest writing systems used for the Vi language in Liberia and Sierra Leone. They call it the Vi syllabary, and I have no idea what a syllabary is. It kind of just sounds like a BS term that linguists invented to save their career. But yeah, the letters here are some of the most creative I've ever seen. It's got a little bit for everyone, like Applebee's. For the simple-minded folk, they've got this dot, this triangle, and this T. For the adventurous, they've got this lobster with one boxing glove, this lobster with two boxing gloves, and this steering wheel. But the craziest alphabet in all of the solar system is without a doubt the Lugaboob alphabet used by the Lugaboob people for the Ligaboob language spoken in Pennsylvania. It's hard to believe that this thing even exists, but it's based on the founder of the Lugaboob church's cat who was very popular among the Lagaboob people back in the 1200s. My favorite letters are the standard vanilla cat, this cat with a basketball, this line, and this Ford F-150. Let me know which alphabet you think is the craziest in the comments, even if I didn't talk about it here. Remember to like the video and check to see if you're subscribed. I really want to hit 5,000 subscribers. Arrivederci.